commitment, work on the marriage. Don't just take off whenever the first time that you, you know, something happens. Here's the other one, people. <laughs> You're married, got a couple kids, and a long life's good. You need somebody at work, a boss, a secretary, a work coworker, and all of a sudden you start getting feelings that you should not get because they're not your wife or husband. Get away from it. Meaning, just tell Hilda, Hilda, I like you, but I'm starting to get some feelings that I shouldn't be, so we're not going to eat less more and get any more. So when you start getting down at the break time, every day you just have to end up down there at 11.30, and it's like, hey, how are you doing? And you get talking, yeah, and you, you just start sharing your life. You know, she's got two kids, life's a hassle, you know, this and that. You've been married both the same eight or ten years, you know, and all that. And next thing you know, it's just something about her that you like, she likes you, and it's like, you know what? We shouldn't be having these feelings. So let's from now on, you eat at 12 o'clock, I'll eat 11.30. Yeah. <laughs> people you got this beautiful young couple tell me this you got this beautiful young couple that's getting married and I mean they can't hardly even wait I mean it's wonderful and they, they like you know they're talking to each other during the wedding they're holding hands you know I mean that's their whole life two years later they're in one of the bloodiest divorces that you can shake a stick at you tell me that I hate you my wife gets mad when I say this but I'm gonna tell you what people if I had my way of doing it, she's the one who fills out the cards. I go to somebody's wedding. If this don't last five years, I want my money back. <laughs> That's what I tell my wife when she always gets mad when I say it. Seriously. Oh, you know how many weddings that I've been to through the years, people, that are now in it in a bloody divorce? Like, what? Out of the deck? Why is it bloody? Oh, are they uh, killing each other or what? Stabbing each other? Or? Economically, they are. Oh, it starts out. Oh, it starts out. Nice people. There are, there are no I mean, bloodies in economics and yelling at each other and all that. But actually, not fighting. No, seriously. Now, I'm not saying all divorces do. You may have parents that may be divorced and they're still friends and it was a real nice, clean divorce. But many times, what happens, and I can tell you one thing that brings it about right here money. Many when they first decide to break, okay, I guess we just did it. All right. Hey, I'll let you keep the house. You're going to keep the kids. And I'm going to get them on every other weekend. Okay. And it's, oh, how about that 401k? 401k. 401k thing that you've been paying into. You what do you mean? What about it? I don't have a 401k. That's why I got 403b. But anyway, and uh, so then she goes, oh, how much money do we have in that 401k? Okay. This is dumb. What's well, what do, you, what do you mean? Well, I got a thing to the mail the other day. They said we got $275,000. In there. Well, yeah. Well, you know what? That's half money, Harry. You know. Spooky. Jerry Lee. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, what about the car? You. Well, what about the car? Do I get to keep the car? Well, I know, not really. I mean, how about, you know, you know, this or that? How about that forty thousand dollars that we inherited from your grandma two years ago? Well, that's mine. Why? You know, my lawyer, get this, people, when a lawyer steps in, you realize, Harriet, everything your husband has is half yours, so expect to get 75%. Yeah. Yeah. What?
Yeah. 